in a notable string of tweets posted over the weekend, including 29 tweets and retweets on Sunday, the president attacked Google, General Motors, the United Auto Workers, Hillary Clinton, the Paris Climate Accord, France, the fake news media, Fox News anchors Shepard Smith, Arthur Neville and Leland Viterte, the late Senator John McCain, the special counsel's investigation into his 2016 presidential campaign's ties with Russia, and a rerun of Saturday Night Live from December. Along the way, he found time to retweet conspiracy theorists and demand that Fox News host Janine Pirro be reinstated despite her glaringly anti-Muslim commentary. All of this led George Conway, the husband of Trump adviser Kellyanne Conway, to take a not-so-subtle swipe at the president by posting sections of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders to his Twitter feed, then concluding with a harsh assessment. Asked if she agreed with her husband, Kellyanne Conway told reporters Monday, No, I don't share those concerns. Other Republicans do, however, including political commentator and editor Bill Kristol, who pointed to the latest invective on Twitter as a giant warning sign. John McCain's daughter Meghan, a co-host on The View, limited her criticism of the president to his comments on her father. He spends his weekend obsessing over great men because he knows it and I know it and all of you know it, he will never be a great man. My father was his kryptonite in life and he is his kryptonite in death, McCain said Monday on The View, adding, your life is spent on your weekends not with your family, not with your friends, but obsessing, obsessing over great men you could never live up to. That tells you everything you need to know about his pathetic life right now. At the Washington Post, conservative op-ed columnist Jennifer Rubin attempted to trace the origin of what she sees as Trump's decline.